That's adventurous. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's quite a bit to ask for a, a, a regular, like a standard cigar. But at the it's same interesting. Time, but at the same time, it's like, what are you trying to do? I finally just got there, and you're telling me that it's gone. Let's take a look at this band. There you go. They have a theme going, like a very unified theme. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, we're back to Adventurer again because oh, Eric got me pretty much every single item on their line. So I slowly get through all of them so that we have an entire line worth of um, reviews, right? So today is um, the Adventurer, the Explorer. And I think this is one of their very first cigar. And I think the one after that is Navigator. So I'm going to find Navigator after this. But this is the like one of their very first cigar. Okay. And the tobacco on this. Let's get this uh, closer to my eyesight here. Uh, the wrapper is Mexican. So Mexican San Andreas. And the binder is Ecuadorian Sumatra. Filler is... Dominican and Ecuadorian. And based on the size that is available, I'm going to say this is the 5x54 Robusto Grande. I don't know why, because it looks just like a Robusto, but they had to call it Robusto Grande. So, roughly 10 bucks to $10.50 uh, is the price average that I find. So, yeah. In terms of the look, it looks powdery. It just look like, I don't know, it's not crazy looking. It's just very standard. And I, I think that this is one of the core line, but $10 for core line. No smell. I'm not even kidding. There's no smell. <clears throat> All right. That's cut and light. Here's a cut. Couldn't cut. Dry is good. A damp cedar, like musty cedar. A little bit of leathery too. Oh, ran out of gas. Give me another one. There we go. Come on. It's getting cold. Let's get started fast. Very, very, very sweet. Is this sweet cap? No, it's not sweet cap. The smoke itself is just sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Sweet with some acidity. There's a little bit of pepper. Woodsiness as well. Wow. What? Ma 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 ma. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's woodsy, it's leathery, it's pepper.
is a little bit sour. It's almost like with that combination, it's almost like ginger candy. But way sweeter than the ginger candy. I'm gonna say that tastes like a cedar with ginger candy taste. That's what I'm tasting right now. That is actually pretty amazing. That actually tastes pretty good. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the first third and I'll come right back. Okay, so I waited a little bit and now I can tell what that taste is. So slowly, that creaminess kind of works way down a little bit and it's not as sweet. And when it's not as sweet anymore, you can taste cinnamon. Not very like burning cinnamon, but I think that cinnamon and that pepper kind of work together. So it's not really pepper anymore. It's just cinnamon. And then you get a little bit of a... I want to say a taste that tried to be milk chocolate, but it never got there. So it's creamy, but like not really. And it's tried to be something like chocolate or coffee, but I think it's so far away from coffee, it's closer to chocolate that is not there yet. So maybe you'll, you'll get there. I don't know. Maybe you'll get there. So... And, and then while I'm smoking this, I kind of looked it up. This cigar has a really cool box. I think the, the whole entire adventure theme, whoever is doing the design needs a raise, okay? Uh, it seems like they have a cohesive design and, and theme going on and that they do a really good job with it. So this particular one is like a treasure box. And I remember the other one that Eric got, it was like a pirate thing. And the navigator is a ship. So it's like they got this whole thing going on that just make everything go together, which is really, really cool. And I think they are starting to become one cigar that I will most likely probably try all their new cigars whenever they come out with it. And most likely try to collect their boxes because those boxes are just nicely done. Out of, out of the nicely done, I don't know how to describe it. So, the cigar tastes pretty good, and their, their box is nicely done. Though, 10 bucks for your basic cigar, that's uh, That's adventurous? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's quite a bit to ask for a, a, a regular, like a standard cigar. But at the same time, they're doing all this thing to, to decorate everything. So... If it's ten dollar with the box, I can understand it. But ten dollar is a single stick. You kind of lost out money a little bit. I feel like that way. So I don't know. Let me finish the second third and continue to smoke that. See if that goes to a complete chocolateness or not. And we'll come back with it. Um, spoiler alert: the the Benza paper. <laughs> okay. So we'll see what happens. All right. So. We are at the second third. Chocolate got to chocolate, but it tastes like, um, I wish it's a little bit sweeter. It tastes like a non-sweetened chocolate that is unfinished, or maybe a chocolate that you left it on the table to dry. We're talking about like, you know, you bought a chocolate bar, you left it on the table for three years. By the time you open it up, it's all like white, kind of dusted and dry. That kind of chocolate. So it's, it got there, but it's not a very, very pleasant chocolate. It's just, hey, I see chocolate. Um, for me, it was, um, I think, a passable gray for chocolate. But it's kind of weird because... Now, at the end of the second third, it kind of transitions again where the woodsy tone is starting to overtake it. So you got chocolate tone at the very beginning. And this wood tone just covers it, like, really quickly. Really heavy. Uh, like a cedary, 
tobacco tone just covers it up. So it's interesting, but at the same time, it's like, what are you trying to do? I finally just got there and you're telling me that it's gone. So I want to say the cigar is good, but the timing is bad. The transition timing is bad. Maybe you can buy other other sizes, Vitola, which will reduce that issue. Like the transition point will be different. But something like, like if you purposely got to make a Robusto into a Gordo, you kind of want to make sure that your timing is correct for where the you know, transition is going to happen. Not that we could, I'm just saying. It's still good, because right now it's become like a... Like, it goes back to cedary. But that cedary has a little bit of sour pinchiness. Almost, like I say, almost like a ginger. So that beginning note such a work back, but creaminess kind of disappear, and the chocolate had to disappear. This whole creaminess, this whole cedariness just thing, just, and ginger just kind of wow, went back right at it. So I think the last third is just going to be like that. Now, that is not an enjoyable flavor, but I was really pending and waiting for that chocolate. So, it's like, Arr, how dare you? Yeah. So, let's finish the last stir. We'll look at the band and go to summary. Be right back. All right, that's the end of this. So, first, let's take a look at this band. There you go. They have a theme going, like a very unified theme. Color, band, uh, ri like rivet, well, not rivet, but uh, waved cut on the side. So it looks good, but you know, I do prefer, obviously, the metal one a lot better. I keep them because they are metal and they're pretty cool. So, but the design is the same. Very nice. I like that. Uh, in terms of the cigar, $10, I feel like it's a little too much. It's like an eight fifty nine dollar cigar, um, but given like if you buy the box to keep that box, I can see why it will be ten bucks, ten fifty because that box is not usual box. It has a design to it. It has literally a shape to it that's not a typical cigar box shape like you know one of those. So I can understand it. If you buy the box, ten bucks fine. If you buy a single cigar, you pay like a dollar too much. Okay, can I recommend this cigar? Yes, it just tastes okay. I mean, at the end, it gets just woodsy. Everything else is gone, just woodsy. Um, and like I say, kind of like a little bit of like ginger taste or something like that. But other than that, it's a very standard, not crazy, smokable cigar. Tastes good, has transition. Construction is good, dry is good. Burns okay. Uh, smoke is uh, smoke output is yeah decent, but that's pretty much it. All right, so I think their their specialty cigars are pretty good. Uh, so far their specialty one impressed me. This one I think is normal, it's good but not great. So that price range, I think it's a good start though. Like if you gotta start with their cigar, you start with this one and the rest is gonna impress you. But if you start with the the like the the King's Gold or the uh, uh, Queen's Royal, it comes back to this one. It's like, ah, it's lacking something. It's their first cigar. So it is what it is. All right. So that's it for the cigar review. Make sure to like, subscribe, support, share, comment. And I will see you guys in the very next cigar review. And yeah, I will do the Navigator soon. Bye, guys.